Today we will discuss prion, the proteinaceous infectious particles. Prion is an abnormal version or in other words you can say a disease causing form of a normal protein called the cellular prion protein. Right? In simple terms, prion is uh, defined as an infectious protein and this term prion is derived from proteinaceous infectious particles. PRPC is mainly found on the surface of cells in the central nervous system, but uh, it is also located in other bodily tissues. Although the specific role of PRPC is not clear, but research studies showed that this protein plays a protective role in cells and helps them respond to oxygen deficiency. A prion causes progressive neurodegenerative conditions with the two most notable diseases. First is bovine spongiform encephalopathy, BSC or mad cow disease seen in cattle and livestock and CJD disease seen in humans. Now prion discovery. In the late 1960s, research showed that the agent that caused uh, scrappy disease in sheep, another uh, name of scrappy that is TSC, transmissible spongiform encephalopathies was highly resistant to deactivation by ultraviolet and ionizing radiations, right? As we know, uh, this uh, UV radiation and ionizing radiation uh, would usually destroy any pathogen that contained nucleic acid, right? In 1982, Stanley B. Prisoner from the University of California in San Francisco purified this scrappy causing agent. Then he proposed a new term prion for this agent. Now prion structure. Prions are smaller than viruses, right? And uh, can only be seen through electron microscope. Prions do not contain nucleic acid, unlike bacteria, fungi, viruses, and other pathogens, right? So protein, uh, this prion protein can exist in multiple isoforms. Predominant forms are number one, cellular non-infectious PRPC form and second is disease causing PRPSC form, right? Prion protein, as I already told you, most highly expressed in central nervous system, but it can be found in other tissues and cell types as well. First, structure of normal form, that is PRPC, uh, P, uh, PRPC form. PRPC is found in healthy organisms, right? In humans, this is a PRPC form in humans, you can see here in this figure, newly synthesized PRPC is approximately 253 amino acid in land and has a molecular weight of 35 to 36 kDa, right? Then PRPC uh, is GPI anchored and resides in raft cell membrane. You can see these uh, two blue lines representing plasma membrane and this is GPI anchored. So human PRPC uh, includes a globular domain and uh, an terminal flexibility disorder tail. Globular domain contains three helices. You can see here this green colored structure, uh, alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3, right? Located at residues 144 to 228 and interspersed with two short anti-parallel beta sheets, these two blue colored arrows, right? at residues 128 to 131 and 161 to 164. Now structure of tail. This is a structure of tail. Tail is further divided in a small charged cluster. This is charged region CC1. Then octapept uh, oh, this um, octa repeat means octapeptide repeat domain or OR region, right? Then a central domain CD which comprises second charge cluster and hydrophobic domain. This is right. Pre pro protein then is translocated to endoplasmic reticulum where it is subjected to several post translational modifications, including N linked glycosylation, right, at residues N. 181 and N197. Then you can see here formation of single disulfide bond at position C179 and C214. 
then cleavage of C terminal signal peptide and subsequent attachment of GPI anchor at position 231. Right? So, this is a structure of uh, tail. Now, structure of disease causing form that is PRPSC. PRPC means normal form can spontaneously convert to disease causing form that is PRPSC to cause disease. During this conversion, beta sheet regions expand at an expense of the adjacent alpha helical segments. With this expansion, beta sheet component that is PRPSC may acquire at least five distinct molecular attributes. Right? Number one, insolubility, insolubility in detergents. Second, propensity to aggregate. Third, acquisition of various degrees of resistance to digestion with proteases enzyme, then generation of PRPSC fragments of different size and acquisition of various degrees of infectivity and pathogenicity. Now, look at these two figures. This is a structure of normal form that is PRPC, right? And this is a structure of disease causing form that is PRPSC. So, you can uh, just compare both the structure of uh, these two forms, right? How it looks after conversion. So, structure of PRPSC is based on four rung beta solenoid architecture, right? So, these are four beta sheets. So, average molecular height of each PRPSC molecule along the fibril axis are up as approximately 17.7 angstrom, right? And 4.8 angstrom spacing of individual beta strand running perpendicular, uh, perpendicular to the fibril axis, right? Then 19.2 angstrom height of an individual PRPSC molecule. Now, pathogenesis means how it causes uh, cause disease, right? Normal prion protein is made up of flexible coils known as alpha helices as you have seen uh, in the previous uh, slide. However, in the abnormally folded form, these helices are stretched out into densely packed beta sheets, right? Now, listen, cellular enzyme proteases can break down only normal proteins, right? But these prion proteins, they are resistant to proteases. So, they subsequently accumulate in the brain tissue as they replicate. And they further act as templates for conversion of more normal proteins and uh, ultimately form plaques, which are thought to cause entanglement of neurofibrils and interfere with synapse function. Nerve cells are eventually then damaged and lost, which causes tiny vacuoles to form in the brain, right? So, these tiny vacuoles then give the brain a sponge-like appearance under the microscope, right? So, this leads to brain damage and the symptoms of prion disease uh, appear, which include impaired brain function, changes in personality, memory and behavior, intellectual decline also, and then movement abnormalities, right? So, these symptoms are usually developed during adulthood and worsen over time, eventually causing death within several years or even a few months, right? This is all about uh, structure of prion. Thank you.